Welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet With you today, Ahmed Mustafa, Senior Maintenance Electrical Engineer in Oil and Gas Company And in this video and other upcoming videos, we will learn how to use a very important electrical software which is Automation Studio Automation Studio will help us in designing and creating power and control circuits also, we will be able to simulate any circuit we will design and create. Please consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Today, we will start smoothly by learning the toolbars of this software also we will create a very simple circuit at the beginning to understand how it works let's start by learning the toolbars here we have the main toolbar and this is the library toolbar and this is the project explorer toolbar also this is a shortcut toolbar here inside the main toolbar we have the project we can create our project also we can use wires like power wires single phase wire or command wire also inside the wires we can use a single wire or draw a three phase wire also you can draw shapes here by using pointer tool for example line rectangle ellipse arc polygon and so on also you can add text or add picture also you can add an audio file video and other files also we have inside the main toolbar edit which we will use to edit our circuits and wires after that we have view simulation which is the simulation of our circuit we can start normally simulate it normally stop it created step by step or in a slow motion also we can pause the simulation also we have advanced features like failure analysis electrotechnical tools and more but today we will start smoothly by learning how to create a very simple circuit so let's start by choosing home project and create our project here we will use electro iec iso a3 which will use the library of IEC standard press OK and now we are good to go now let's go inside the library and choose electrotechnical IEC which is the library that we will use in our course electrotechnical IEC here we are using IEC standard here as you can see we have the most popular components in this electrotechnical IEC library if you want much more components let's press here on this arrow you will find lines control circuits power circuits measurement and instruments basic passive and active components black box and others inside for example the power you will find energy sources like how to create a battery a single phase a three phase generator photovoltaic also you will find a power distribution blocks energy converters like dc to ac converter or ac to dc converter transformers motor starters protection devices like circuit breakers fuses and overload also you will find the contactor poles here we can choose a contactor also we got the motors inside the motors we have dc motor induction motor single phase or three phase synchronous motor linear motor stepper motor now let's start creating a very simple circuit let's bring a three phase power source and a circuit breaker and an induction motor and simulate this simple circuit so let's go now to the power inside the power we got energy sources press on this arrow you will find too many sources that you can choose from I will choose a three phase power source here we have a three phase or three phase and neutral 
and three phase and neutral with a variable source. Here I will choose only three phase because we have a three phase motor. Drag it here inside the sheet, drop it, and now we have our three phase 400 volt. You can double click on it to change the variable or the parameters. Here we have the frequency value, the nominal voltage, we can change it. Also, we have the name and an internal ID, item identifier, and more. Now, let's bring the circuit breaker. Here, from the protection, I will choose a circuit breaker, a three-phase circuit breaker. A circuit breaker, three poles. Drag it here, and drop it inside the sheet. And very good. Here, you can zoom in and zoom out. Also, you can zoom in and zoom out by pressing Ctrl and scrolling up. Perfect. As you can see here, we have a three-phase power source and a three-pole circuit breaker. Now, let's choose from motors a three-phase asynchronous or a three-phase induction motor. As you can see, we have too many choices. But I will choose here only this synchronous motor squirrel cage with a three terminals. Perfect. In the future, we will choose this six terminals motor because we will connect it as a star and delta. So we need six terminals. Now double click on this circuit breaker and you will find the parameters of the circuit breaker. Also, we can choose a builder choice to change the building blocks inside the breaker but for today it's okay to work with it in this way inside the motor also you can change the parameters of your motor also you can change the name identifier the torque uh, the characteristics of the load torque and more but for now this is very good now let's choose power wire because this is a power circuit and here left click and move the wire to the first pin of the circuit breaker left click again also left click and left click left click here and left click here very good now delete it and use a three phase wire at the same time so choose power wire and here this is a choice which is a poly wire and here on L1 left click and move the wires to the first terminal of the circuit breaker and left click again perfect press escape and as you can see now we have the three phase power at one time let's draw the three phase power also here choose power wire and poly phase and Move the wires, left click and left click. Escape. And now our circuit is ready. But we didn't bring the ground. So, from the popular electrotechnical IEC standard, here I will choose the ground. Drag it, drop it here, and connect it as a single wire to the body of the motor. Now our motor has been grounded. Perfect. Now we are ready to simulate our circuit. So from the shortcut here we can choose the simulation or choose from the main toolbar the simulation. Here normal simulation and perfect. We have our circuit ready. This is the power which is supplying until it reaches to the breaker because the breaker is in open state. It's open circuit. Now, when we press on the circuit breaker to close it, now the power will move towards the motor to make the motor rotate. And as you can see here, this motor is rotating clockwise with a speed of 1500 RPM. Of course, in the induction motor video, you will learn that there is no 1500 RPM. There will be a slimming from this value, which will be 1450 RPM, for example. Now, as you can see, the motor is rotating clockwise. Now, let's open the circuit again, and the motor will stop. 
as you can see the motor is still rotating in this clockwise direction but the speed is decreasing with time this motor here as you can see is moving in what we call inertia now it has a mechanical energy that is stored inside it and the motor will start rotating until this inertia become zero so as you can see the motor is still rotating until it reaches to zero but electrically there is no power source supplying the motor now but when we click again to close the circuit the speed will increase until it reaches to the maximum speed open it again and the speed will decrease and the motor after a time will stop moving now what if we want to make this motor rotate in the other direction anti-clockwise we have to change two wires together make an interchanging into power source inside the motor to make the motor rotating magnetic field rotate in the other direction which will make the rotor to rotate in the other direction let's create this circuit now i will stop simulating the circuit and here i will bring a new circuit breaker from where from the protection and here as you can see we have a three pole circuit breaker bring it here and now let's connect this first wire to the second power source which is l2 and let's connect this second wire to l1 and l3 connected to this third uh, point of the pole so as you can see now we have made an entry changing in the power source here now let's connect the first wire or the first uh, terminal to the first pin of the motor u press yes and then the second one to the second terminal which is v and the third one to w perfect now as you can see if we make this circuit breaker on the power will be on u v w l1 l2 l3 so the motor will rotate in a clockwise direction but if we make this breaker on the power now on u1 v1 w1 will be l2 l1 l3 so we made an interchanging in the power source so the motor now will rotate in anti-clockwise direction perfect so let's simulate the circuit again here until now the motor is not moving because there is no power source supplying it the circuit breaker one and two is open now close circuit breaker one and as you can see the motor will start rotating in this direction open it and the motor will decrease until it reaches to zero because of the inertia now close q2 and as you can see the power source have been changed so the motor will start rotating in the other direction open it and the motor will stop rotating after a while because of the inertia start this again and the motor will start rotating clockwise but what if we made this two circuit breakers close at the same time this is a short circuit actually because we made l1 and l2 meet together here as a short circuit as one point and this is a very uh, dangerous thing so the two circuit breakers must open now so let's uh, try to make it and as you can see the two circuit breakers stop working because they made a trap this is a trap in the circuit because they saw a short circuit now so they have been trapped instantaneously so we can't make this breaker and this breaker work at the same time this is dangerous so in the future when we will create something like contactor we will make something called an electrical interlock to ensure that this supply and this supply will not work together to make a short circuit so this electrical interlock will ensure that only one path will work at a time so in the next video we will learn how to create a very simple circuit 
which is direct online how to create a circuit breaker and a contactor and something called a thermal overload with an induction motor and how to create the control circuit related to this power circuit until now we have only a power circuit but in the future when we will add a contactor we will create a control circuit to control this motor remotely so this direct online circuit will help us in controlling the circuit so we will create it as a power circuit and control circuit in the next video please consider subscribing in electrical engineering planet channel to support our community also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching Thank you.